to do what? Oh my god. Okay, sorry. I like tested like the clap. I like clapped to see if it would like start recording. And it did. That was crazy. <laughs> sorry, my nose is so itchy. Good question. I'll have to pick which one. Which is not as much of a panel as the other panels. It's kind of more of going to be a line. I think I worked out I had like 12 that I wanted to make. I think I said that already. Anyway, now the garbage truck is going past. <laughs> I hope you know the people you're going to be in the vlog. Do you approve? Welcome back. Welcome to part three. We are here. We have arrived at part three and I have started putting the blanket together. Do I have enough squares yet? Probably not. Am I going to start putting it together so I can see how it looks? Yes. Yes, I am. So <laughs> I've been putting these three row squares around this big square. I'm going to continue all the way around so it's like one big, big square. And I've been weaving in all my ends as I go. Okay, fun new location. We have entered the bathroom. I wanted to block this. Basically just gonna like wash it in some warm water and then I'm going to pin it to this cork board in an effort to block it just a little bit so that I will be able to fit the rest of it. Look yeah, how pretty it is. <laughs> so that I can fit the rest of the blanket to it. I've decided that it's gonna be the top corner. So that's what I'm gonna do now.
it isn't perfect, but I think it might be as good as it's gonna get. It is really hard to block things on a cork board. Um, also, the blanket will probably end up being blocked multiple times. This is just kind of a preliminary one to sort of get it in the right spots. I don't think that this is really big enough either, but I don't have anything bigger to, to block it on. So, <laughs> yeah, there was no way that this was ever gonna be perfect. I mean, there's only so much you can do on a cork board because of the nature of the material. But I do think some of the edges should be a little squarer now and it should be a little bit easier for me to do kind of my border that I want to do around this section. Like that line is so wavy but there's no really any way I can get that to like straighten out. So, you know, we've got to work with the materials that we have. So I finished blocking um, this piece. This is panel one. It's gonna be, I'm just calling it panel one just for my own like brain cell capacity so that I know where it goes. It's gonna go in the top left hand corner and I, after I blocked it, I added this like three row border because I just felt like it needed it. I don't know why I felt it needed it, but just like looking at it, I was like, I feel like this needs like a little border around its own section. So this turned out really well. I'm actually really happy with this. Blocking it really did help me a little bit. It's a struggle to get it all in frame, but yeah, so it turned out well. And I've just finished, like literally last night, I just finished last night sewing 
panel two together. I'm thinking this will go, this will attach to panel one somehow. I'm thinking at the bottom maybe, but this is what panel two is looking like. So far I need to block it. It is not going to get its own border, but because I just don't want all of the pieces to have their own borders, especially because it's such a similar size, I think it's going to ruin the aesthetic that I have in mind that I'm imagining for the blanket. But I do have this little border around this kind of net of a cube that I made because I just thought it looked cool. And I was trying to think of different ways to configure the squares so that it looked interesting. And I've also incorporated some of these like little squares here and like some little ones there and at the end here. And I made a bunch of new squares for this section. So this one and this one and like that one here with the blue in the middle. This is really different. I just needed like a different kind of color palette. I felt like it was a bit blue heavy. And then I made this one for it and that one there those are all oh and i almost forgot this one those are all new squares because i just wanted the color distribution to be really quite like balanced i'm gonna block this and then i'm gonna start on segment three which i already have a bit of a plan for so that is good i also have plans for segment four i'm trying to like plan out some unique configurations of the squares and shapes so that they look a little bit more randomized even though i am like making them into squares just because that's easier for me to join together obviously so yeah but i just wanted to give you an update on how we're going i think this is obviously going to take me longer than i thought it was going to it always takes me longer to crochet things than i think it will because i am bad at remembering how like time works however i am happy with the progress that i've been making i just i'm so in love with colors it's gonna be so exciting when I can actually start putting the panels together. Okay, so I've been making some squares for panel three, which is not as much of a panel as the other panels. It's kind of more of going to be a line. It doesn't make sense when I say it like that, but that's what it is. So I've been making some squares. I had some of my family down recently and one of my family members helped me pick some new colors. So some of these, are ones that they picked because I am kind of at the point where I feel like I'm repeating the same colors over and over again so I needed some inspiration but I did come up with this one all by myself so and we've got some you know kind of fun ones got another block color box there this variegation is just so much fun this one's kind of fun a bit more of a neutral we've got a gradient blue this one which I think I came up with from memory that was one of the ones that I had so I think I only had two out of this like batch of eight and I do have some more color combos that they gave me that I think are really cool so I'm gonna make them yeah I'm just kind of getting to the point where I've made so many squares that I'm worried that I am just kind of making the same color combos I'm worried that it's gonna look too samey essentially so I've got a little bit of color input and that is great super helpful so I have about 12 more of this size that I want to make for this panel I did have I did have these ones already of this size. These are ones I'd made previously at some point. So whether or not all of these will end up in this panel or whether or not they'll be elsewhere in the blanket, I don't know. But I did want to have a few options to kind of play around with and I will use them all in the blanket eventually. It is like almost three o'clock and I haven't done any crocheting today because I was doing some admin stuff and had some uni work to do and stuff like that. So I'm hoping to be able to crochet for the rest of the evening. I might listen to an audiobook or I'll watch some YouTube. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I'm a bit behind on my YouTube subs, but I'm also behind on my audiobook reading. So it'll just maybe a bit of both. Probably a bit of both. Also, I once again moved basically everything around. I did have my yarn in my little movable cart. But I've kind of moved that around and it's now like over a shelf which is more convenient because I can put the blankets that were on my other chair on there. So that cart just kind of over there used to be full of wool but now it's got some works in progress in it instead which does make it a little bit easier because I can use my other chair if I want to um, which I haven't been able to sit in it for months because those blankets that are on the top of that pile are there. But it does mean that it's more difficult for me to get to that wool because there's so much back. I have to sift through the shelf every time. However, I've gone and grabbed all of the colours for the next two squares 
so that is good and I'm just I took photos of them when they were all the colors were laid out so I would not because none of these have labels and I mean what would you even call some of them like this is like a piece off one of the variegated balls that I had taken off because I wanted a specific color in the variegation also surprisingly that's a really new thing to me is like unwinding the variegations to get to the color that I want because I know I just never done it before it felt sacrilegious but then I saw like a TikTok of someone being like yeah you can just do that and I was like of course you can of course I can just take that off like it's my ball I bought it the the yarn police aren't gonna come and like attack me I mean at least I haven't had that happen yet so why do my neighbors always need to mow constantly I swear I can't film without them mowing in the background I don't know if you can hear the mowing I can hear the mowing because sometimes it doesn't pick up things I don't know Okay, so we're working from that side across, I think. Good question. I'll have to pick which one. But that is the next two squares, the colours of those two squares. So that's exciting. This is working from this green colour across on both of them. So they obviously won't be next to each other because they do have the same kind of centre colours. But I'm excited to make some more squares. I think I worked out I had like 12 that I wanted to make. I think I said that already. Anyway, now the garbage truck is going past. I'm going to go start making things because you can't hear me over the garbage truck in the lawnmower anyway, so whatever I guess. <laughs>
in this box i have what i hope will be panel three i have no idea if it's enough because i kind of really haven't sorted it out yet but i've been making a bunch of these sorry there's hair in that hair my hair gets everywhere and everything i think if i was to ever sell stuff i'd have to like wear some sort of hair net or something like that i don't want to be like planted at a crime scene that'd be crazy Jesus, it's windy outside i don't know whether you can hear the wind but yeah so i've been making a bunch of these four row squares which will be panel three of the blanket my plan is to attach panel one and two together i was initially going to attach panel two to like the bottom of panel one and have it be the length but i actually feel like that makes like the net cube shape i did look a little bit too much like a cross which is not the energy that i'm going for so i'm thinking i'm going to have it long ways instead so it looks more like a cube net and at least it's less like giving cross and i think the only way to have that kind of match up is actually along the top but i want to have these go kind of around the other shapes and kind of like go along the edges of panel one and panel two so i've been making i love this one i think it's so cute with the two-tone green and then like the little bit of extra can you see like the little bit of darker blue because i ran out of this blue and then because some of it ended up there i've had a couple because we're kind of running out of a few colors so i've just been like embracing that kind of working out this was not a case of that this is just um it's a variegated ball it just was where the color change was but i've been embracing that throughout the blanket i think it kind of adds a bit of extra uniqueness because truly i don't feel like any of the squares are the same or at least like they're all a little bit unique maybe even just because they've got some of my hair in them who knows this one is giving autumn like if autumn was a square it would be this one we've got a fun blue this one's more a neutral kind of square a full blue because this variegation is such a fun variegated wool i adore this one i can't find this color i had like a whole ball of this color and i've somehow i moved some stuff more stuff around and i have lost it it's gone like i can't find it anywhere it's very frustrating i don't know whether one of my cats has like stolen it i don't know they've never done that before i've got a few with like this edging which they might have to be like spaced a little bit apart or i don't know maybe they'll I'll work it out i don't know whether i'll need all of these for this section these are all the new ones and then the next like this pile here they are ones that i had made a while ago these were the only like four ones that i had left before i started making some more for this segment so i am not really sure what i'm gonna do the next panel i'm thinking i've got like another really big square so i'm thinking that will be kind of part of the next panel whether or not it's the whole panel itself I don't know i'm still kind of winging this as i go along which is like partially exciting but also partially i'm like i don't know how this is going to come together i'm at the point where i'm like i just kind of i'm a little unsure about how everything's going to come together so that's where we're up to i'm going to start sewing panel one and panel two together i'm very excited and then i'm going to sew these onto them and hope that i have enough and hope that all the colors work yeah <laughs> Are you coming to inspect everything? Yeah, you know I'm trying to take a photo, right? Yeah. I hope you know the pickle you're gonna be in the vlog. Do you approve? Is the pickle approved? Can you hop off so I can take a photo? <laughs> can you hop off so I can take a photo? No, yes. Do, do you like the colors? Are they pretty? Thank you. What was that? Are you clawing my blanket? Can you just not that one? Oh my god, stop. Give me the... Don't stand on the wall. Oh my goodness. What am I gonna do with you, Pickles? Pickles, Pickles. No, don't. Oh my god, stop doing that. I'm gonna have to rescue them all from you. You didn't like that one, do you? What am I gonna do with you, huh? Can I have those, please? Oh, thank you. We're performing a rescue operation. No, no, you can't keep it. The trick is rescuing all of the squares before he grabs them. You're a good boy, though. You're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Okay, so it's actually a little bit later, but I am finally getting to sewing them all together. This is what I've got so far. So I've got my panel one here, and I'm really thinking that I want panel two to sit. I'm thinking that way, and then I'm gonna have it attached to the side of panel one, like that. 
and then I will have these little squares kind of like around them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew it together. I've got my handy brown and now I just got to find my favorite needle and we'll be good to go. I'm pretty sure it's just in this little candle, which is not a candle anymore, but there was a candle in here. Um, it was a really nice candle actually. And I just thought a little dish was so cute and that I could not resist. This is my favorite needle. It's just like the perfect thickness. The eye is like, a, but the eye is like a good size and it's got like a little bit of a point on it and it's just like the perfect needle. And whenever, I mean, I have other ones, right? But like they're not the perfect one. <laughs> and so whenever I lose that one, I'm really sad about it. So I am going to watch some YouTube and sew this together and then start sewing on the other squares and we'll have made some more progress. I'm very excited. to show you it's blanketing oh my gosh the blanket is blanketing i mean it fits over my lap like i mean I, my knee is out like down here but like you know once i add some of these other squares it would totally be lap size i mean i should make it bigger than that i want to make it like nice and cozy but if we're going for a lap blanket i feel like we're already there right part three over we're done we finished no we have a lot more to do but oh my gosh the blanket is blanketing the vision the vision is becoming i'm so excited i am mildly concerned that i haven't made enough of these smaller squares for my like image of the next panel i'm feeling like i should probably lay it out on the bed and kind of like map them around it and then take a photo so that i can see which ones i've got to sew on next but oh my gosh i'm so excited it's like full-on blanketing now it's like more a blanket than it's ever been. Okay, I have finished sewing what I had together. So that is panel one there, and then the squares on the very bottom, that is part of panel three. And obviously that connects to panel two, which you've seen before, and those squares continue along the bottom and then they continue up this side and across the top and connect back to panel one. Mm -hmm. 